morning guys welcome to today's video today we are starting a vlog off inside the house and we have a story for you first of all we need the little miss missy off the couch <laughs> for some reason she thinks that this is her spot ah early this morning sam and sophie went down to let the horses out you guys know that daisy is a dalmatian and dalmatians love Horses. Horses. She thinks that the horses are her friends. She's not scared of them. She thinks that they love her. Do they love her? No. Contrary to popular belief, we do not let the dogs chase the horses. And the reason that we don't let the dogs chase the horses is because Penny does not like dogs. So uh, today we were extra lucky. We went outside this morning and it had snow. There was snow this morning. The dogs were extra excited because of the snow and the horses were extra excited because of the snow. And then what happened, Sophie? So Penny rolled, and Daisy thought it was playtime, so she started barking at Penny. It's true. Penny rolled, and Daisy thought that Penny was playing with her. Did you think that Penny was playing with you? Did you think that? She said yes. She thought that Penny was playing with her. Was Penny playing with her? No. So as Penny was rolling, Daisy got down on her haunches, and she was barking and jumping and playing with Penny, like, come on! I see you're down on the ground with me. Let's play. And yeah, that was a disaster zone because Penny does not like dogs. Did you guys remember I said that? Penny does not like dogs. So when Penny finished rolling and she got up, was she happy with Daisy? No. What did she do? She was kicking her front legs out. I don't know what it's called, but she went out with her front legs and Daisy was running away and still wanting to play. Like, oh my gosh, she's playing with me. Then Daisy was running around the field, having the best time of her life, and then she would stop in the middle of the grass, and we couldn't see her because she blends in with the snow. Everybody was all nervous about poor Daisy because Daisy was out there running in circles and having the best time, and she thought Penny was playing with her, and Penny was not playing with her. And the problem was this. What was the problem, Sophie? We could not call Daisy because her attention was not on us. So Daisy is deaf. So we had to wait until Daisy got tired of playing with our horses and we could sh do sign language to get her to come back and stop and to listen to us, right? Yeah. Stop chasing the horses. Stop playing with the horses. Yeah. So it's true. It was a disaster zone. But fortunately for us, um, it Penny doesn't really fight too much. She just kind of throws a little fit and says, get away from me. I hate, I hate dogs. And then she settles down. But every time Daisy stopped for a second... Gracie would go for a canter around the field so that Daisy would run again. Yeah, so Gracie is a troublemaker. Yeah. We didn't have the camera. I was inside watching from inside. I didn't have, they didn't have the camera. We didn't have time to get the camera, but it was an eventful morning letting the horses out. But they did settle down and nobody was hurt in the whole thing. And we do... And like I said, we try not to let the dogs run around the horses, but we want the horses to get used to having the dogs running around them and being around them. We just don't want the dogs chasing the horses, which very rarely has ever happened. Um, but having a deaf dog definitely creates a situation where it is harder because <laughs> she got confused and didn't realize that the horses roll, then it doesn't mean that they want to play with them. And it was hard for us to get her attention. <laughs> because she's deaf. Anyway, good morning. Today is Monday and we are back at homeschool. Gabby just finished her homeschool. Sophie just finished her homeschool. We are getting ready to go to the barn because we haven't been there for three whole days. Hopefully he's not fresh and Gabby's excited because she's going to ride her horse finally. All right, so this is what's going to be troublesome. It's snowing out and we got to go get the horses. And the mud? It's not snowing, it's hailing. It's hailing out. out frozen water so we have a choice i can stand here and let the girls go or i could go what do you guys want to see you guys want to see the girls go all by themselves in the snow i have a collar i've got a collar guys it's fine uh my camera's gonna get wrecked i'm waiting here look at the snow look at the Look at the hail. I'm not going to lie. They are big enough and old enough to go and get their own horses, especially when it's really bad weather. <laughs> you guys know where they are? I do not know what's happening out there. <laughs> We're going around so much. I literally stepped 
on something and it went. That happened to me before too. We're going all the way around. I didn't even leave, I just stepped on. Are you telling me that you want Sophie to go catch your horse for you because you are wearing the wrong shoes? Yeah. Oh. It's like a mud pit and she's already been in it. Okay, well, Sophie, you got boots on. Go get, give your horse to Gabby. I'm not going to get her horse. Go get her horse now. Yeah, this is what happens, you guys. This is what happens when it's bad season and you don't wear proper footwear. Gabby's gonna have to wear proper footwear. Right, we got two horses. <laughs> is that the deal? She has to pick your horse's feet? No, there was no deal. There was no deal. Oh, Vinny boy. You think they're warm enough? She gets no reward. Did you say thank you, Sophie, for saving my feet? She was actually. Yeah, well, from now on, sister, you gotta wear. Hi, oh, handsome. Wow. So today's the day that Chino gets ridden. Woohoo! So a lot of people have been asking me, like, what the heck is wrong with Chino? There's only one thing wrong with Chino. We've done a lot of tests, a lot of specialists, like uh, support therapists uh, to tell us that Chino's back is in great shape. Chino's in great shape, especially because he hasn't been doing anything, but um, he also plays tug of war. Um, he has thin soles and flat feet. So you gotta put that Caretex on him. I bought her this Caretex and she hasn't been using it, which is probably the problem. When did you stop using it? A while ago. Yeah, you need to get that stuff back on him. It didn't affect him when I stopped. Wow, well, we never know. But anyways, <sighs> so he has flat feet and thin soles, and I think I have a solution. I was talking to somebody yesterday, and they were explaining to me. They were explaining to me how they had a horse just like Chino, and what they ended up doing, like, that's how we have to learn. We all have to take things that have worked for other people and apply them and see if they work for us. It's all a mystery. <laughs> and they got those really thick, high up shoes that elevate the uh, horse's feet off the ground a lot higher, like enough to make a big difference. And so, my we've tried. My hands are cold. Aw. He you says your hands are cold. You think her hands are cold? Yeah. Or she's picking all your scabs. Yeah. Anyway, so our farrier doesn't come for another month. Oh, it's a tick. Wait. A scab. That's a tick, not a scab? Yeah, right there. Okay, well, you get that off. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm coming through. All right. Uh, it's both. It's a scab and a tick. A scab and a tick. How long you had a tick for, Chino? All right, she got the tick out. Oh, that's a big sucker. It's tiny. Well, it's tiny, but it looks bad. The tick made a cut. Do you think it's going to heal off as soon as you take the tick off? I closed the door so we could have some heat in here. I know it's cold. I know, it's cold. Do you find another tick? You gotta love these shoes. No, my hands are freezing. Yeah, I love these brand new shoes that are already destroyed. They're literally um, dirty. platformed almost. Platform dirty. I don't love them. Okay, what exactly are you doing? Are you just putting your hand in there to stay warm? Yeah. Okay, well, let's get going. We only have... So much you time. At, uh, how cold my hands. Yeah, you don't like that? Anyway, I've said before and I'll say it again, we're not done with Chino. Chino's a really good horse. He was like a really nice horse. He is a nice mover, he's a nice horse. We just gotta figure him out and sometimes it takes time. Lots of people telling us what they did and lots of vets, lots of caros, lots of massage people to say like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with your horse other than he has flat feet and, and thin soles. So he's putting poles all the way to the end. And Finney's gonna stay here with me. He's like, I love my Laura time. He does love me, you guys. Do you remember when he lived at home and he actually was really bonded with me and really loved me and so he cried. Didn't want me to bond with her horse, which I understand. Yeah. Oh, now he doesn't care. It's like I swung my coat when Chino came in and Chino said, help, there's a green coat. <laughs> He was traumatized. I'm, I'm the holder of the horses. Sophie's already up there with no coat on, freezing her butt off. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. Says I'm the, good. Says the girl that usually freezes. Are you getting past that stage now? What? You getting past the stage where you don't dress appropriately? No, it's just when you're moving around a lot. 
Chino's like the best horse because he's so fun. Like he's so mischievous. He just took that blue thing out of that bucket. Do it again. Show them how you do it, Chino. Show them. Show them how you get it. Not the poop. Don't take any poop out of that bucket. Ew, Chino. You won't. Get the bucket. Get those things. Just hit himself. He's like, I will face. just empty this whole bucket. He hit himself. All right, here she goes, and here she goes. Those. Yeah, you gotta go straight. Well, at least you can actually trot your horse for more than a couple of seconds. So, Chino's been off for a week. I can. It's been one week since since he had lost his shoe. And he's still got some muscle, and he's still got some chub, actually. He's no, look at his belly belly. The girth does not lie. Oh, the girth does not lie. The girth does not lie. All right, we're here at the barn, and we got the girls, and they were jumping up and down because they're all wimps. You're all wait. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. That's Wednesday's job. <laughs> That's Wednesday's job. All right, so we are headed out to catch the horses. Stormy night is for Julia. Julia, you coming? Mom, let's see cricket first. Okay. Stormy night. We're oh, you got to get his halter. Stormy night, and then Gabby's riding another new horse. I didn't film last time when she rode the one for Head Chestnut, but I, I think that's the horse for us. Oh, it's she's calling to us. Oh. <laughs> she can fit her head. Oh, no, here. Here, look, I got a bucket of treats. Hello, little pony. She's crazy. definitely way bigger than, than Willow. Way bigger. She's triple the size. Okay. So you guys are going over to get your horse? Oh. All right, we're going to get Storm. Oh, Sophie, are you coming with me? Oh my gosh. All right. Freezing. I'm going with Julia. We've been abandoned, Julia, by all the children. Well, I'm not children. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been abandoned by all the children because I got Julia. But the problem is this. Who's gonna be in charge of getting the horse out of the field? Cause it's not gonna be me. I'm not good at that. When they all wanna come out. I'll open the door and stand guard and you get the horse. Okay. Here's some treats if you need them for him too. I'll give them to you when we get here. Get them. It'll be fine cause I'm used to catching. Yeah, Julie is used to catching her own horse. I'm used to catching some of the crazy horses. Some of the creepy horses? The crazy. The crazy horses, your crazy horses? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's got horses like us, not crazy really. All right, here we are. All right, Storm, she sees. <laughs> That's Echo. That's Storm. Come, whoa. All right, let's see. So cold. There's our boy. Hi, big girl. <gasps> Jesus. I touched the wrong thing. I got shocked. It burned me. Oh, I did not use blood on him. Oh, that was bad. What happened? Oh, I got shocked. I touched that. Oh, my God. It's hitting off of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was wild. I got shocked. Okay. You're not coming. I got shocked. See, I told you it was not a good idea for me to be in charge. Oh. Let me get the stupid yeah. thing. Yeah, I got all my hands full. Julia, just be standing there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Making me look bad. Here, take some. Yeah, take some treats. In case you need it. You want a treat or no? He doesn't need any treats. Oh, wait, I got treats then. <laughs> Storm! Storm! <laughs> we suck. Alright, hold on. I can't really see too much. Alright. Because I'm flashing in your your eyes. Okay, here. No. Take some treats in your hands and then go over to that pile and get them. Here, I'll flash you. You see him? Yeah, that's Storm. I hope it's Storm. Yeah. Give him the treat. I know my horsey boy. If you want to see some crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even though we got no money, we sure as hell funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We 
shocked so bad you guys i literally grabbed the fence my finger got burned i swear to god it was my shoe <laughs> like two oh. inches and i would have gotten run in my shoe that horse don't push it away that was cute oh yeah i know he already did <laughs> wow oh you're coming through the fence <laughs> i don't care <laughs> 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 you see how close i was to getting swamped in my shoe <laughs> All right, so this this is Gabby's ride tonight. I oh my gosh, how high is this horse? How high is this horse? Gabby, stand up tall. You can't even see Gabby over his bum. And he's covered in mud. Standing up tall. You can see Gabby's eyes. Wow, this is Finn. I I don't know. All fins, but this is a huge fin. A gray one. This does not like mud. <laughs> well, that's good. Mud puddles. <laughs> mud puddles. All right, so I might be able to show you guys a little, little tiny bit of this ride, but Gabby's like trying out horses to see what's happening with horses right now. He's 16 too? Just 16 too. Yeah, he's not as big as Chino, but because he's gray, he looks ginormously gorgeous. Who is that? This, this is our new horse. You want to ride him? Yeah. Just joking. It's Brandon's horse. Brandon's horse. Hello. Yeah, oh, he. What's his name? Finn. You're like, I don't want to ride any more Finns, right? <laughs> you have to play Flynn. Flynn. No, but his name is really Finn, right? Yeah. Finn with the dark legs. <laughs> you can only do so much. We're going to bring a blanket or a towel. So we're going to bring some old towels. Oh, he's so cute. He loves you. <laughs> My horse snorts. Oh, she won't. She's excited. And she, she's just going to flat this guy. This guy's a lot of horse, Brandon says. So, oh my gosh, she's already on. Oh, he's, he looks so tall. So don't tell me how to act or how we should. All right, which one did you like better? Finn. You liked Finn better? I asked Brandon, which horse did Brandon, did Gabby ride better? The chestnut last week or Finn the gray this week? And guess what he said? Finn. You like Finn? I really like him a lot too. I hope he's cheaper than the other one. Don't you know that